Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we will be looking at the overview of the components that are stored within Canvas. All of these components can be used as you create your online classroom. We will be looking at the links that are along the left hand side of the screen. Most of these components will work very similarly in the way you add content. However, there are a few that will work a little bit differently. Let's go through each one of these. We can have assignments. Notice that when you click on assignments, a list of assignments will be there for you. If you need to add an assignment, you would just simply click on the Add Assignment button to add the assignment that you want for your students. When we click on Discussions, this is where you can have discussion threads for students. Again, when you want to add a discussion, you can click on Add Discussion in the top right hand corner. The next piece is the Grades. The Grades is where each of your assignments, quizzes, uh, discussions will show. And this is where you can go to grade those particular assignments or discussions. To go back, we'll click here to go back to our course home. And our next button is People. Now this is where you could add additional students into your class if needed. You would just click Add People and you would put in the student's email and then they would be added to your course. The Pages. Within Canvas, you can create pages to where you can have content. Again, there will be a blue button to add pages within this particular area for whatever content you want to add. The next component is the files. The files that we are seeing here, these files are the files for the course itself. So I'm within the Digital Citizenship course and I have files that I have uploaded to this course. When I want to upload more files, I can go here to the Upload button and I can upload files into this area to use within my course. Notice you can also organize this area by adding folders and putting items into the folder. On your syllabus, your syllabus will automatically populate as you begin to add assignments and discussions to your course. The outcomes, this is where you could go in and put any uh, objectives or goals that you have for your students and you can attach these objectives and goals to any assignment, quiz, or discussion uh, that you're going to be grading. Notice that this is also the place where you would be able to go in and add rubrics to give you a grading source for any of those assignments or discussions. The next area would be the quizzes. Again, you're going to go to the top right hand area and click on Add Quiz to be able to add quizzes to your course. Our next section is Modules. Modules allows you to group content together into a unit. The beauty of the module is that students will go th through each item in sequence. You'll notice that you can put pages, quizzes, or assignments, and even discussions within the module so that students are guided in the direction that you want them to be guided. Notice that you can add more modules if you would like to add modules uh, to group your content. Conferences, this is where you could create conferences that you want to hold. To add a conference, you would click the Add Conference button. Collaboration. In the Collaborations area, this is where you can set up areas for students to collaborate or even student groups to collaborate. You can use Google Docs or you can put links to any Web 2.0 collaboration area where you would want students to work in a group on a particular project. 
Attendance. In the Attendance window, this is where once you have students in the course, uh, you can mark if they're present or absent for the day within Canvas. In the chat area, the chat is where you can actually set up a chat to have with students. This chat can be set with different properties, and we will talk about that later in the course. The next button you see is SCORM. Some of you are going to want to create content through outside sources, such as Adobe Captivate. And if you create a course there, uh, you will change it to a SCORM file. And notice you can upload any SCORM files directly here, and those will be linked within your Canvas area then. And then the last section is the settings. And under the settings, this is where you can change a lot of information about the course. Uh, you can look at the different sections, the navigation, apps that you want to have available for this course, and any other feature options. And these are the settings for the course itself. So there are many components within Canvas, and I hope you found this video helpful as you begin to navigate through your course.